Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I will be talking about how to start and scale your social media marketing agency from zero to 10k per month. Of course, these are tips that personally helped me through my journey to scale my social media marketing agency from zero to 10k. So I'll be sharing with you all the hard tips, every single thing that I had to do, you know, to get me to that zero to 10k journey. And I'll put out every single source every single thing that i had to do to get to that 10k level which i believe that if you apply your own social media marketing agency is definitely going to get you there as long as you put in the work i said it's my personal tips these are things that i did and my personal experience through the journey so if you stay to the end of this video which is like seven tips the seventh one is the most important one and trust me you would smash and of course make as much money in starting your own social media marketing agency if this is your first time on this channel, my name is Nino and of course I keep bringing you hot and very interesting videos that's going to help you build a brand, start a social media marketing agency and at the same time grow on every single social media platform as a beginner. So let's just dive in into what we have today. So if this is your first time hearing about social media marketing agency, it's basically you know you providing services to different businesses to help them make more profit and at the same time you know get more customers in every single business they do and because of we have too many businesses that are springing up and of course different startups around the world more social media marketing agencies are needed and if you are really good at this you are good with sales and marketing this is the right time to get in and take a slice of the pie so let's jump into what i have today seven tips that will help you grow and start a social media marketing agency from zero to 10k per month so today i'm giving you the first tip the first tip is basically you choosing a niche choosing a niche is definitely is more like you know choosing the part or kind of the department or the particular you know topic where you actually cover more so we have different like real estate we have you know, the chiropractors we have you know dentists we have too many different niches you know and all these niches are all you know successful you can actually start and build a brand or start a social media marketing agency in those different niches the most important thing is that you know what you're doing you've been able to learn and of course acquire the right skills that is needed to help you you know sell and of course acquire customers for those different businesses in that particular niche so there's no like a golden you know a niche that is very very profitable the most important thing is that I keep advising people, hey, look, if you have to go into social media marketing agency, choosing a niche, you need to find a niche that you have a little knowledge or at least passion for. This will help you to drive and, of course, help you make more research in that niche and acquire all the skills that are needed in that particular niche. So when you get into it, and the good thing about social media marketing agency is that the more you, you know, keep on working on a particular niche, the better for you. And, of course, you're going to keep learning and keep on building yourself along the way so there's no you know golden niche that is the best and just look around you find niches that you know you have a little passion for and of course you know a little something about and this would help you to build and scale faster so my second tip is actually building a brand of course this goes into you creating content for different social media you know platforms youtube facebook instagram reels and long form and short form videos this is a way to really help you get the foot in the door, you know, with you and your different clients. I mean, building a brand is really, really very important. Like, of course, I'm actually building Grow Your Media. Most of the clients that I've actually gotten is probably, you know, from TikTok, you know, YouTube. And most of my clients actually have to watch my video and they were able to see that, of course, that I have, you know, something to really provide. And, of course, they like the different values, like free values that I put out in most of my content. So this has been able to gain me some good trust and of course at the same time, you know, help us start a very good relationship, which is called business relationship and be able to trust and, you know, decided to get started, you know, with the services that I'm providing. So building a brand is very important. I know it's not everybody's so comfortable, you know, getting on the camera. I mean, this is a real load of work and kind of getting on the camera every single week and, you know, shoot these videos, editing and the rest of them. It's not easy, but it's not really meant to be easy. You have to just get in front of the camera and build yourself a brand. Because the more, you know, your customers and every single, you know, clients that would like to work with you, 
of course, the more they, they tend to watch your videos, I mean, these people are in different locations. Some of them are in different countries, some of them are in different cities. So the only way they get to know you better, and of course the services you're going to offer them, is actually the videos you put out on YouTube, Facebook, and other social media marketing or platforms, actually. So this is going to help you to actually, you know, grow fast and at the same time acquire your audience along the way. So building a brand is my second tip and it's very, very important. The third tip is definitely, you know, having a very good packages and offer. And I made this mistake when I actually started, you know, having just one single package. And this was not really flexible enough. Like, I mean, I was losing very, you know, lots of clients because my packages were not, I had only one package actually. So it wasn't flexible. I mean, every single person that comes in, it wasn't giving them exactly what they needed. Like some people want to spend more money. Some people want to go lower. So the best thing you can do is actually having a flexible packages, like different types of packages, not just one fixed package. You can have like right now, I have my basic package, my standard, and of course my gold package. So what it does is that it tells different clients that, hey, look, you have the power to make the decision of whatever package that you know actually suits you and of course your work style or whatever business you do. So it's gonna give them that you know edge to let them understand that you're ready to work with them, you know, with the, the low ticket and of course the high ticket. So whatever they can afford, then of course they can get on board. So make your offer quite you know sexy and of course you know try to make it more inviting then you know split it like in three or four places depending on how much you can actually you know put out there so and one thing about you know social media marketing is that you are really uh, there's not much overhead cost you don't have to pay this person like too many people to pay you just have to you know go for your uh, actually uh, subscribe for your go eye level and you know just a few things there's not much you know overhead cost in uh, you know starting a social media marketing agency so you can easily you know create different offers you know and you know put it out there and give your client that flexibility letting them understand that they can pick and choose whatever actually suits them and of course their businesses so it's really important to create a very good offer and of course the second one is actually having a very good offer one thing i tell people is that look if you need to you know get money out of your clients you have to let them understand that you're ready to work for them and like one i, I have one of my offers as actually i say money guaranteed I, if i don't get you you know 10 clients in you know um seven days i give you back every single dollar you spend so it gives them that you know confidence and assurance let them understand that look every single dollar you spend with me is not like a waste i'm going to make sure at least i'm able to you know deliver and every, every single guarantees that i make in my different offer so at the end of the day you spice up your offer in a way that let them understand that look this thing i believe in my system i believe in my strategy i'm going to get you you know the clients and of course the customers and of scale you your profit to your, your target so at the same time they understand that they are not just paying you you know for nothing they're actually paying you for what you're worth and at the same time you will definitely give them the services that they require so make your packages and your offer and you're good to go tip number four for me is actually developing a very good landing page a landing page is basically where you actually drive every single of your traffic. If you're actually doing paid ads, you're doing organic traffic. You're driving all these different organic or paid ads, you know, to this landing page. It's like probably like a website, you know, where you actually state you have your VSL. Your VSL is actually um, in a, a video welcoming your different uh, clients to that particular landing page, telling them about your services, telling them, you know, what you have to offer them and how you actually provide the services. And of course, making your different guarantees. In that particular landing page, you can actually you know state out all your different you know offers and your pricing and you know of course you don't have to put your price in there you probably you tell them your pricing when you, they book a call with you it's much more easier so you state out your different you know packages and your different offers and if you have some social proof some like people you've actually worked with in the past you can equally get you know social proof from them like uh, i work with xyz and they provided this and of course i'm very very happy with you know their services you can actually put up on your landing pages because every single person that comes through you know uh your paid ads or your organic traffic for probably from tiktok instagram and the rest of them that comes to your landing page they are able to see those social proof people you've worked with in the past 
that are actually successful in their different businesses. And of course, they're able to see your, you know, VSL, your video sales letter, and able to see every single thing that is in your landing page, like your, your packages, your offers, and of course, the final place is actually booking a call with you. And one thing, good thing about landing page is that whoever goes to your landing page is able to vet themselves and decide if they want to continue or they actually want to work with you or not. So anybody that is actually booking a call with you and of course coming through the call, this person is already, you know, kind of at least 50% or 60% ready to work with you. So all you have to do is to explain the rest of your packages and of course, uh, you know, get them to understand their problem and how to solve it, you know, to know if your packages act with, is actually suits or is actually good for their business. So that's where you get to help them decide if they really want to work with you. But at least before they get on that call, they're already like 50 to 60 percent ready to work with you. So all you have to do is just to lay out your different packages, understand their problems, understand you know their business, where it is at, the, at that time and how you can help them to grow from there. So it's really important to have a landing page and you know take it from there and trust me you definitely go far with a landing page so tip number five for me is actually hiring a team i mean you can't do it all by yourself trust me no matter how you think you're efficient and of course very uh you know very good you can't do it all by yourself you're always going to need a very good you know team team that is ready and dedicated to really work for you and of course before you even think about having a team you should be able to know at least 80% of what is actually in your business. You should be able to operate even without these guys. Like for me, I started all alone. I was doing the ads. I was doing, you know, the call booking. I was doing the sales letter and every single thing that I had to do all by myself. Then when I started, you know, deciding to scale, I was then having more clients. That's when I decided that I was going to bring in, you know, more people to really help me out with the ads and, you know, booking the calls and making appointments. Then of course, every single, you know, just, I think a couple of VAs like virtual assistants. So the good thing that is, is really is really good that you know you know your business. You're able to operate like without those people. So when somebody decides that maybe they just want some unreasonable raise all of a sudden and maybe they want to leave, you don't become handicapped. Like for instance, if your ads manager decide, look, I think you're gonna give me a raise and it's not really right time for you to give them a raise and they're threatening to leave you or probably start misbehaving. So even if they leave, then that's the problem. You can equally start managing that department until you probably find somebody. And the good thing is about you knowing at least 80 to 90% of your business, which is your social media marketing agency, is that you are able to delegate, you know, different tasks, you know, to these different VAs, you know, people that are actually working for you in your team, because you are the one that is in charge and you should be able to let them know, look, this is the way I want you to perform this tax. This is the way I want you to perform this tax. This is the way I want you to manage this client. So at the end of the day, you're actually, you know, not really in the business. You're actually working outside the business, but you are like in charge. Well, at the end, you, when you look back and you're able to know that every single tax or in going on in in that business you are the one making those decisions but not like inside the business so if anybody decides to leave if anybody that you know decides to misbehave you can easily fire them and get you someone some uh, someone else i mean if they're not available for maybe for instance they're not available for a week they decide to you know go for vacation or whatever you can easily you know just fill in and manage that department like really really efficiently because you know you know that department and you know it's with a thing or two about your business so before you hire a team it's very necessary that you learn what it takes to become a social media marketer. You learn every single thing about digital marketing. All the departments involved, your ads, you know, making appointments, creating those different landing pages and lots of other things that goes in it. So learn those things. So at the end of the day, you are able to you know, manage your business if somebody decides to leave you or even without these people. So hire a team, but at the same time, make sure you know a thing or two about your business. So tip number six for me is going to be having a high ticket offer. This goes back to actually, you know, making our offers and packages. I mean, it's very important that you give your client, of course, that flexibility to choose from the low ticket to the high ticket, but at the same time, make your high ticket 
very sexy in a way that whoever looks at it will look at oh my I'm, i'll be very dumb to not choose this offer the fact is that most businesses really have that you know can actually pay you know for that high ticket the, the thing is if you're able to provide them and spice that offer you know with you know with the right incentives they're ready to go for it so make sure that you provide a high ticket so the businesses that can actually afford it can actually come in through that particular offer so and it's going to help you to scale faster if you want to build uh, like you know scale from probably from 10k to like 30k a month so the best thing you can do is actually you know creating a high offer and making it very sexy but at the same time also you know make sure your low offer is not left out because there's some businesses that might not be able to afford your high offer they can probably go for the low offer but for me Right now, I focus on my more on my eye offer and make sure I, I I put in more services and you know put in some real good offers that really would you know make businesses to want to jump in you know like providing them with guarantees like of course I'm getting ten clients in seven days guarantees uh, I'm working I'm working for you to live free because I don't really you know advise anyone to work free for anybody I've done free services it just never work out provide people with offers they cannot say no to. And of course, they will always work for you. And you know, decide the pricing and which we'll go into another video for. So, provide them with a high ticket offer. You see yourself scale faster from 10k to even 30k per month in a very short. My seven and final tip would be actually networking. Networking is actually a great way to actually connect with different people. And this takes us back, you know, to actually you know, start creating content. You need to create content, no matter how you know you crazy you think it is. You have to start getting comfortable in creating content. This is how you can actually you know scale faster. You know, reach more people. And another thing, networking is you know meeting different uh, like-minded you know social media marketing agencies and of course digital marketing that is you know has the same dream and goal with you and they always reach out to you once your content is good I know too many people that have actually reached out to me on Instagram on TikTok you know people that are actually into digital marketing and they get to share you know different knowledge you, you get to share different things you never knew how to actually you know start making your social media agency perform better so it's really good to you know network and of course uh, you can also go on podcast I we have a few coming up soon you know, with different, you know, digital marketers and we get to share different knowledge. What I've learned so far in my own agency, they're sharing what they've learned so far. This way, you, I mean, you, you definitely don't even know how you, you, you're you definitely going to see yourself grow exponentially. I mean, I've been able to meet people that I never thought I would meet because I was creating content and my Instagram is actually blowing up my TikTok and of course, yeah, and YouTube. So creating, you know, uh, content is really important for your networking and networking is actually one of the backbones that is definitely going to shoot you and of course launch into the sky in this business so create content network with the right individuals with the same similar mindset to grow as much as you are so it's really important to i mean i can't even overemphasize how much it's really important to create content network go on podcast of course make friendship with these you know different uh, digital marketers like you and at the same time you know be open to everybody share free value i mean provide free value as much as you can i don't see why people want to you know keep you know their their values and whatever you know ideas under a pillow and I mean, there's no reason. As long as people see you as someone that provides free value, they're always going to give you value back. And you never know. You start meeting different people. The people I never thought I would meet through you know, different digital marketers. I met those people and, of course, we provide ourselves and share different you know, values. And, I mean, I, when I started, I started with nothing. But now I can really brag that I have like a lot of following and at the same time I have different clients that I provide val uh, my services for that are very, very happy. And this wouldn't have been very possible if I didn't, you know, create content and I didn't network, I didn't, you know, provide free value. And I, I wasn't open to these different, you know, digital marketers that actually reached out to me, the ones I reached out to. And we are really good friends, you know, we, we make money together. So networking is my final tip and trust me, this, if you go through my seven tips, there's almost impossible that you will not start making money from social media marketing agency. I mean, you, you can start from zero and scale to 10K or even 30K per month as long as you use my seven tips in this video. And I'll make this, you know, disclaimer. Look, nothing is impossible, nothing is possible until you put in the work. Some of people would actually watch this video, wouldn't, they won't take the action. 
I mean, take the action. The most important thing is you taking the action and of course, getting yourself out there, get out of your comfort zone and do the work. And that's the only way you can see the results. And of course, thanks for watching so far. Please like, share and subscribe. And at the same time, I'm actually watching out from here and I'm always rooting for you. And remember, I'm always gonna do whatever it takes to push to that next level. And thanks for watching.